Hello, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Uh, I thank you guys very much for your time. And before I start, I would ask that you share and like this video and also subscribe to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about something that, excuse me, I wanted to talk about something that I noticed that a lot of Christians struggle with, and that's repentance. And the reason I came to this video was because I was actually talking to somebody the other day, and he has this mentality that, oh, Jesus will always forgive me. I can keep on sinning. I mean, when you read scripture, that's really, really not the case. So you gotta think, you gotta think of God like a parent. Sure, sure, your parent will forgive you. Like if I have kids, I would forgive them. But if you keep doing something that I've warned you about, then you're gonna get a spanking. Because I know that if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. And I think that's pretty much the same thing with God. Like he will forgive you, but he wants you to repent. He wants you to change your ways. Because like, if you keep if you keep doing what you're doing, what's the whole point of forgiving? And then there needs to be discipline. So let me just pull out a couple of scriptures. So in Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That is really, really good. So Jesus, right, especially in Matthew, right, Jesus said that he didn't come really good. He's not really focused on the righteous. He's focused on the sinners. He's focused on those who need sinning. And who, I mean, focus on people who are sinning. So like, pretty much Jesus was calling us to repent. So like, everybody knows what they're doing. When you, especially if you know what you're doing is wrong and you have this whole forgive, uh, Jesus forgive me mentality. You also need to repent. For instance, I can't just be a murderer, I'm shooting people, and then I just say, oh, Jesus is going to forgive me. It doesn't work like that. You have to repent. If I murder once and I've learned my ways, you have to, I have to stop doing it. So, another story that kind of goes hand to hand with this need of repentance is the story of the adulterous woman. See, the woman... So the woman had been caught and brought to Jesus. And then Jesus pretty much told them, like, you guys have all sinned. And so they, they let the woman go. But after they let the woman go, Jesus said in John chapter 8, verse 11, this is King James Version. He said, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. You see what he said? He said he doesn't condemn her, but he told her to sin no more. And that's the same thing with us. When we sin, we ask for forgiveness and repent. That's the best way to do it. And Jesus, Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the light. His ways are the best ways. He is just. All of these principles came from the Bible. Love your parent. If, if this, if the, if the Bible wasn't, if there wasn't the Bible, I honestly believe society would be more chaotic, because a lot of these principles govern our society. So Jesus wants you to repent. Stop, stop this mentality that oh Jesus forgive me, Jesus forgive me, and then you don't repent. What's the whole point of repenting? So, another verse that I really wanted to talk about is in Matthew chapter 11, verse 29. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. So, Jesus wants us to continue to seek him, to continue to seek knowledge and learn of him. Jesus, the way you got to see it is Jesus is our father. And we're supposed to have that father son or father daughter relationship because Jesus truly wants the best for you Jesus Jesus was saying peace unto you Jesus want peace in scripture he says 
He doesn't desire sacrifice, but desires mercy. He desires peace. He desires all to be saved. But when you keep on sinning, you're inviting suffering. You're dooming yourself. Because when you sin, when you're sinning, you're inviting trouble. You when you keep sinning, 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 you 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 may possibly possibly be headed for hell. So thank you very much. I hope everybody has a blessed day. And like I said earlier, please like and share the video. Thank you very much.